Five minutes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and honorable members of the Appointments Committee of the National Assembly. And Mr. Speaker, as you rightly put it from the beginning, I know this committee has a constitutional mandate and responsibility uh, to vet appointments or nominations by the president. And so, uh, being colleagues notwithstanding. However, I just want to mention very quickly, Mr. Speaker, that I'm John Buddy, as I've mentioned before, and as you rightly mentioned, I was born 53 years ago in a small village called Seka in Gwasi, uh, uh, Suba South constituency of Homer Bay County. I went to school uh, first, um, Seka Primary School, three years. That's class one to three, class four to eight, in another school called Legongo Primary School. I'll not go into the details because we don't have time to uh, talk about my childhood uh, history. I w then proceeded to Kokoro High School. Kokoro Boys is in Awendo constituency, modern day Awendo constituency, where I did my KCSE, and then later proceeded to the University of Nairobi School of uh, Business Studies, that is, um, a faculty of Commerce. I'm a graduate of accounting, and uh, I'm also a certified public accountant. Actually, I'm a member of the Institute of Certified Public Accountants. I am member number 6101, 6101, and I'm in good standing, Mr. Speaker, as can be attested by the uh, file that I've just passed across. Uh, then I must then move straight, uh, Mr. Speaker, to my work experience, uh, which uh, spans over 28 years now. After graduating from the University of Nairobi, Mr. Speaker, I was employed to work with the same university in the finance department. Started off at the very basic level, entry point for a graduate, which is assistant accountant, where I was basically doing uh, the routine accounting duties. Uh, but later I rose very quickly uh, to become an accountant, finally to senior accountant two, and, uh, and, and and finally to senior accountant one. In which time now, I was involved in more advanced accounting work. I actually was responsible for preparation of the final accounts for the university. I was in the team that was doing that and preparing for final audits. I was also involved largely in cash flow management for the university. I then later left the university uh, to work for an international organization called Media East Africa. It's a humanitarian organization with headquarters in Switzerland. I was the regional finance director responsible for supervising uh, the finance departments of the region. That is Uganda office, uh, South Sudan office, Somali office, and the Kenya office. The budget for that organization, the regional budget, which I was responsible for, was um, 8 million US dollars, which in the current foreign exchange rates could be about uh, 1 billion plus. And my duty in that organization, Mr. Speaker, was basically to uh, do fundraising, do the budget, preparation of budget and fundraising, ensuring a proper utilization and uh, uh, efficiency in financial management in the entire region. So I served there for three and a half years. Then I became a member of parliament, having won my seat for the first time uh, in the elections which were conducted on 29th of December 2007. I won Guasi parliamentary seat, a seat I won again subsequently, three times. Uh, actually, I was I have the record of the only person who has ever been elected in that constituency more than once. But having said that, Mr. Speaker, when I joined this parliament, I have done this now takes me even to the relevance of my nomination or the docket to which I'm nominated. Since I came to parliament for 15 years, from 2008-15, uh, January, to 2022, say for a few months, like about seven, eight months when I served in the cabinet as assistant minister, in the of the president, I have always been a member of the Budget and Appropriations Committee. This committee is the one that actually has the constitutional responsibility and mandate uh, to prepare or the budgets of this country. Actually, the budgets that come from the National Treasury are estimates. 
the budget is, act is a preserve and function of the National Assembly of the Republic of Kenya. So during which time, when I was a member of the Budget and Appropriation Committee, I interacted a lot with the Kenyan budget and the macroeconomic policies. I can, I can attest that I've interacted with the budget review outlook paper, which is always prepared every year. I am very comfortable with how to generate budget policy statements, budget estimates, finance bills, um, division of revenue bills, county allocation of revenue bill, generally budget process, and the debt management strategy paper. So Mr. Speaker, I don't want to go into much detail, but let me just mention for relevance that as Assistant Minister in the Office of the President, I was also involved in helping the Prime Minister, I mean, in the Office of the Prime Minister, sorry. I was Assistant Minister in the Office of the Prime Minister, and in that office, the responsibility of that office was basically to supervise and coordinate government functions in all ministries, departments, and state agencies, which is very much in line with what my role at the Treasury if this committee proposes my approval to the National Assembly and fi finally approved and appointed. In that office, Mr. Speaker, you will recall that there was no minister. And you will also recall that at the time I was appointed, Mr. Speaker and honorable members, there was not even a deputy prime minister. Because remember, the former president, who was a deputy prime minister, had uh, stepped aside because of the cases that he had at the ICC. And the current prime cabinet secretary, who was another uh, deputy prime minister, had already, because of political differences, uh, uh, practically left office. So I was basically deputy or assistant prime minister <laughs> during that period that I was there. And so I, uh, by default, and I helped the prime minister in coordinating government functions. Now, um, quickly, uh, because I think my time is almost up, my work in public accounts committee, first as a member in the 11th parliament for five years, and later as the chairman now for two years, from 2022, October, I have interacted with uh, how the government spends its revenue. So the government spend is something that now I understand very well. So if I'm given this opportunity, I can easily bring a difference in our financial management because that is a big concern in this country at the moment. Mr. Speaker, I think I would leave it there because if I went now to talk that about my, my political life and sharing ODM for 10 years, and I, I think I would take all the time that's allocated for this vetting. So let me start. That will do.